how do we make, how does the data warehouse actually use to, to make decisions? I want to give you a little bit of structure, a couple of words to think about because it helps to have vocabulary and some, some uh, categories in your mind because this is not a simple problem. I've already said this, but, but this problem, I'm an engineer first of all, you must compartmentalize, you must segment this problem into pieces, each one of which is something that you can deal with. Otherwise you go crazy, you just go off in infinite directions trying to solve all the problems of the world. And so we won't do that. So the first thing that I want to do is to understand what are the principal activities. I'm gonna give them two names. They're gonna be called key performance indicators and key performance responses. And so we're gonna look for those two things. So we want to, first of all, understand what the key performance indicators are that drive or that make it possible to make decisions in these big organizations. So the first thing you do, you must all, you should always do this. This is, this is a really, really basic activity that I hope you do again and again in your careers if you if you are if you stay in this area. The first that you, you should talk to the end users. Now there is a question you must never ask the end user. Mr. End user, what do you want in your data warehouse? That is the death question. And, and, but it seems maybe, this is not a joke, this is, I'm very serious about this. That is, a, that is a dangerous, bad question because, think for a moment, I'm putting the end user in the position of designing the data warehouse. And, and e even worse, trying to, to, to force the user to say something intelligent about what technology could bring to, to this process. And that, that is absolutely the wrong responsibility for the end user. What the end user should, the business user should talk about is what is it that they do when they do their job well? What, what, um, it, what is it like to be an advertising manager <coughs> for a large company? Uh, what, what, how do you think? And, and if, you, if you come in and you say, how do you know when you're doing a great job? I mean, that's, that's a good question because it's a flattering question. It gives the, the, the user confidence that, oh, well, I can answer that question. I, I, thank goodness I don't have to talk about computers because I really don't know very much about computers. So the person will say, oh, and this is, uh, this man in the front here is my, my uh, yeah test subject here. Uh, uh, so he is a senior advertising manager for a very large company. He has a, a, a huge budget and uh, has many products and lots of things to think about. And so he says, well, uh, we first of all look at the brand awareness in the marketplace as a basic measure of whether our message is, is coming across, brand awareness. Then uh, when we're satisfied with the brand awareness, we look at two things, really. Uh, uh, most of us track the category development index and the opportunity gap. Now, you are sitting there in the interview and you're writing down, you, you're, you're listening. It, you, you've not heard these words before, but you've got three KPIs. Three, did you hear them? Brand awareness, category develop, I mean, I'm just, I'm just giving you examples. These are not the only key performance indicators. They're different everywhere you go, but you, you, you develop the skill of listening, even when you don't know very much about that person's job, I have got three very valuable things that give me a good start on my data warehouse. Brand awareness, category development index, and opportunity gap, whatever those things are, are the key performance indicators. Now, you also, of course, interview other 
decision makers in the organization, and you hope to hear those same key performance indicators because then it gives you confidence that th this is really uh, accurate story about, about how people think and uh, how people really do make decisions. And there's always these layers of interpretation that you have to be, you have to sort of say, well, maybe he's just trying to impress me. They don't really use those. And you know, you eventually figure out what is important. But just having the key performance indicators is not enough. Even though that's necessary, just having those, even just delivering them to the business users is not sufficient because you have to think, you have to understand what they do when a key performance indicator is abnormal, very high, very low, disappointing, exciting, whatever. What do they do with that information? What do they need next? Because it is the reaction. That's why I call it a key performance reaction, a KPR. This is a new word. First described in this class tonight. So uh, for each identified key performance indicator, ask what do they need when they see an abnormality, when they see an, uh, an issue. So the, the, the classic steps of bringing information and using information to the business users are the basic publish the data, publish the reports. And that's what we did in 1980. We brought the data as best we could to the desktops of the end users, and we said, whew, we're done. Thank goodness we're all finished, goodbye. And meanwhile, they're sitting there with, uh, pretty soon, a stack of you know, output from the data warehouse that was too much. So the next thing we learned quickly in the 1980s was to identify the exceptions, to bring to the attention of the business user the, the problems, the opportunities, but it was step number three that is the key. It's the secret of the data warehouse. It's the secret of decision support. And that is to say, what, what, do, they, what do they want to do when they ask why? Supposing that you say, in all of Poland, the, um, I don't know, some major economic indicator is low this month. You say, okay, now I'm interested. Show me, drill down, show me the regional areas or the demographic breakdown. And so, so the most elementary response, the most elementary answer to number three is drill down. Go down to more detail. Spread it out. See if there's a, if it happens everywhere or if it's concentrated in some region or some demographic or, or something. Um, but the, a, a very similar request or need is to do what I call drill across, which is to say, well, show me other data at the same time that would allow me, I mean, maybe the weather was really bad. And so the retail activity was understandably low because of you know some factor, or there was you know some other factor was needs to be understood at the same time. And so, you, if you're designing a data warehouse, I mean this is where this is where I'm going with this this discussion. You need to anticipate drilling down and drilling across. And you need to, to understand that beforehand, because if they say, well, of course I drill across to the uh, economic uh, indicators or to the, you know, some other data source, and you say, oh, I didn't know that. Well, that makes, you know, you didn't do your job. You have to, to anticipate as best you can the other data sources, okay? So that's, that's the issue, and we call that integration because it means that you bring multiple data sources together at the same time. 